Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jimmy with the X-T2s and one of the main differences uh, when it comes to soft shutter release buttons uh, with the X-T1 and the X-T2 is the X-T2 has a threaded uh, shutter button there so you can put um, a soft shutter release button into it. My X-E2 had this um, but I never ended up buying more than one of these. I did end up losing it. So I did DIY methods that I made videos about. But today I'm, I showed you guys what these things that I bought. I bought these off of Amazon and one is a concave finish and one is a convex finish and these come in the same box. So you can try both of them and see what your preference is. Some people feel very strongly one way or the other. I also bought one more box with the same type of finish except in black. So. Uh, one camera can be red and one camera can be black. So that's kind of cool. They also come with these O-rings, two O-rings per, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, if you have space to kill after you screw it in, those O-rings can help seal it up. Um, I tried just doing the one uh, button without an O-ring and it looks like this. Just screw it in there like so. And there's a little bit of space there. Can you see that? It's not a big deal. I also didn't over tighten it. So there's not that much room to go. Um, so I'm going to put one O-ring there. Just like so. And then I'm going to screw this in again. Now the camera does turn on when you turn it, it turns it on. So after you turn it on, go ahead and keep screwing it in ever so slightly, not too much. And uh, that's it. So you'll see that it kind of takes up that space in there with the O-ring. I don't know. Maybe it's an aesthetic thing. It looks fine by me. So uh, this one has the concave feel. Feels good to me. Again, what is the purpose of this? Uh, the purpose is that it gives you a little more body to when you're pressing down. So more steady shot. So they say it's totally up to you and your preference. Some people do prefer to build it up a little bit more and some people don't. For this one, I'm going to put a black one on there. Let's try the convex one, okay? Okay, so each one comes with two O-rings. So I'll just use this leftover O-ring here. And kind of, ah, kind of hard to grab, like a watermelon seed. That's what it looks like. And then you just screw it in. Now, if your camera does not have this and you'd like to experiment with it, um, I do have other DIY methods um, that you can try. Or you can buy them from a store called La Lumina, or you can buy it on Amazon and try it yourself. The ones from La Lumina also sell ones that have S, uh, adhesive to it. They're, they're very strong, and you stick it on after you clean it. Again, the camera just turned down as I'm tightening it. I just tighten a little bit more. Don't over tighten it. And that's the way it looks now. Now they sell many colors. This one I got black and red. It looks pretty sexy, I think. Very seamless. Now I'm wishing I got fluorescent green or something like that, but I like it. Now which finish do I prefer? The one that dents in, the one that bubbles out? That is um, yet to be seen. I'm not quite sure yet. The reason why I brought this is called, uh, this is, um, I guess, thread tape. You use this to thread around stuff if it's too loose or you want to make a more secure fit. Um, after trying it, I don't think there's a need for this. I did read in the reviews that some people had this fall out. I just don't understand some people's uh, reviews. I think that some people just don't know how to install things properly or they do things hastily and ruin things and then they need more stuff like this. But it's useful to have. It couldn't hurt as long as you do it right and you don't get this lost inside the camera body you'll be okay. So um, I don't think you need this, but I think it works fine on its own and it looks quite nice. Okay guys, see you soon.